we are anchored back and back around the south pass. Because we were low on food last time we were here, we didn't get to explore everything. We especially wanted to visit the beautiful pink sand beaches located on the western side of the South Pass. We were not allowed to anchor here, so we had to take a long dinghy ride, but my goodness, was it good. We spent the day exploring the motives and swimming in the beautiful crystal clear channels. They obviously do copra harvesting here. We have yet to find out what copra is, but I think it's just the coconut meat by the look of these shells. Look at all those sea slugs! It's amazing, isn't it? Look at those! So many! Yeah, but that shows a healthy area because they eat all the algae, the sea slugs. Where are they? Sh that, that's how you call it? No, well, what do you call them? Cucumbers, sea cucumbers. Oh, I got lost on the way to you In an orange sky by the ocean blue Every mile lost, my soul renewed Taken by the sunrise and the golden view Walking slowly in the mountains underneath the constellations Yeah, I know that you've been waiting for me Time is losing all its meaning like I'm living in a dream And I've been chasing all the feelings I need It's in these moments with words unspoken My eyes wide open, life tastes so sweet The kids found a spot where the butterfly fish are super friendly and started feeding them a coconut. Before they knew it, they had loads of fish, including young groupers, coming right up to them. We couldn't resist this perfect backdrop for a group picture. It's 
it's hard to even comprehend that those big, bustling, stressful cities exist when you're in a place like this. I suppose it is the same feeling when you're in a big, bustling city to imagine on the other side of the world a place like this is just experiencing another day. Another day in paradise for sure. The sand is made up of billions of tiny crushed pink shells, making the beaches pink in colour. That is also because there is a lot of pink coral in this area. We're not sure why everything's pink, but it does make it beautiful. Watch out for the sharks and this giant squid behind you. <laughs> it's easy to see why this area has been classified as a UNESCO World Heritage Biosphere Reserve. Fakarava is so special. It would be a shame to see large hotel complexes laying claim to these stunning beaches, reserving them for their guests. The UNESCO classification means it should remain protected and free for all to visit. After an amazing morning, we have a dinghy race back to the boats to get ready for the slack tide so that Dylan and Natan can dive for the wheel of sharks. Descend to 29 meters. It's not long before we spot them. The powerful, nutrient-rich currents contribute to a healthy reef of beautiful hard corals, which attracts almost every marine species found throughout the Tuamotu archipelago. This makes it a prime hunting ground for the powerful pelagics, including a huge number of grey reef sharks. With as many as a third of all shark species in the world facing some sort of threat of extinction, the future of sharks has been in peril for some time now. French Polynesia and the Cook Islands have taken a stand for sharks, creating adjacent shark sanctuaries covering 2.5 million square miles of ocean, an area nearly equal to Australia. This may sound large, but in ocean terms, this area is tiny. We use this cave as a viewing window to keep out of the shark's way.
On average, these grey reef sharks grow to around 2 metres in length. They do not pose a threat to humans and are very inquisitive. Their expected lifespan is around 25 years. Amazingly, whilst we were down there, we noticed Antoine, who had no dive gear on, and had obviously free dove down to see us. This footage clearly shows the hard pink coralline algae that we spoke about at the pink beaches. These pink stony crusts are found in sundered parts of the sea floor. They play an important role in the marine ecosystem. Whilst corals build the large structures of the reef, coralline algae are the cement that binds the structure together, making the reef stronger to withstand heavy seas. They grow as a crust over and between the fragments and gaps in coral reefs. These beautiful reefs are textured, colourful landscapes that provide us with endless joy and entertainment. They're the underwater cities supporting up to 800 different species of hard coral and they are home to more than 25% of all marine life. Reefs grow over thousands of years providing homes for fish, snails and other marine creatures. Teeming with life, they harbour the highest biodiversity of any ecosystem globally, making them one of the most biologically complex and valuable ecosystems on this planet. Corals have shown the most rapid increase in extinction risk of all the species assessed. We all need to think about our oceans and corals every day and try to do our own little bit to help them survive. I would hate to come back here in 40 years to find this beautiful underwater garden hasn't survived. Let's go again. Let's go again. We're done.